Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is my YouTube channel, Breaking Burke. It is about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name is Albert, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you how to get a couple plants ready for LECA. If you haven't seen it before, it is an alternative growing media, just like this little round clay balls. It's actually expanded clay, so uh, this is used to wick up water to the plant. This container itself is set up a little different, where it has a basket with wicking ropes and a little bit of water on the bottom. Now with LECA, since there is no soil and nothing going in as far as compost, you do have to be diligent about feeding nutrients. I haven't had to do that yet because I've only had this for, I guess, like two weeks. I probably should have fed it something by now, but I haven't done it. Uh, you do want to make sure it's something that is uh, hydroponically suitable because there are some things that will grow mold and will ruin your plants. But in order to grow something in LECA, you have to have water roots. So I figure this is the perfect time for me to try and save a couple plants. This one here is my zebra plant that I've had so much trouble with. You can see it's even wilty now. So I figure why not try and save it with LECA. So. That's what we're doing. I just cut a piece and put a few of those nodes in water and hopefully it'll root. Now this is gonna take about two, maybe three weeks to get enough roots to be able to su sustain themselves, but hopefully they'll do better. I'm not good with water greedy plants and it shows. The next is my fiddle leaf fig. See the red dots here on the new leaves? For the most part, they go away. If not, they lighten. You can see this one still has some, but not nearly as many. Now that's not from bugs or anything. That's actually from irregular watering. Not enough, too much, whatever it is. Could be just inconsistent watering that causes that too. It's actually called edema because the cells of the plant are unhealthy. So what I'm gonna do with this is just take a couple of cuttings down here. Now I am going to leave the base and if it regenerates something from that, cool. If not, oh well. I am doing my best to try and save it. Now like anything else, remember, make sure you take off any loose, dead, dying, crispy debris on the bottom. Because that will lead to rot. And as with anything else, if you can get a stem, more chances of success in having a real plant. I'm gonna take off a couple of these lower leaves just because they are kind of crusty. And I do want it to succeed, so I would like to give it the most chance possible of setting out roots and not frying because it's trying to provide nourishment to all that top. I think that's better there, so we'll stick that one in water. And this other one, just rub off the crispiness here at the bottom. And then we'll do the same there. Now this is a fiddle leaf fig and most are easily propagated. And I do have the stump here, so I can also try to save this by changing the soil. Uh, another way to experiment with the plant and not completely lose it. Uh, this does look cute on its own anyway, even if it doesn't survive. It'll be nice on the desk for a while. I chose uh, dark or ceramic vessels for these because I plan on leaving them for like a month so they get a nice healthy root system before I transfer them to LECA. Uh, they need water roots. If you transfer a plant that has soil roots to LECA, most likely they will rot and then they'll start from scratch anyway. So from what I've uh, read about LECA, it's best to start with a cutting or something that has grown in water roots to begin with. So that's my plan. And you can see here, there is a little tiny baby popping up in the bottom. So there is a good chance that these two stems will push growth. Uh, since I do have to pull it out and change the soil, I'm gonna disturb the roots quite a bit. And it would have caused a lot of trauma to leave the big canopy with the little tiny roots. So this isn't my theory behind doing this. I'll see if I can get this one in soil 
a good soil mix, not this stuff that it came in, and rejuvenate it. And also try and see if I can have one in Lekka to see if I get rid of the edema. I have seen online that people do have a few and they look a lot better than this. So here's crossing our fingers for that. And this guy, like I said, pretty water greedy. So we'll do our best to see if we can save him. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Uh, I will be continuing to add some updates when these do have anything to update and when I transfer to LECA. So if you are a beginner in LECA like me, go ahead and subscribe or comment if you have any questions. I'm a member of a couple groups online and I can also get help from them. Thank you for watching and have a great day.